I'm back, and today I have a little bit of a different type of review for you. Um, instead of reviewing a set of bags, I'm going to re review a couple products that are designed to help speed up the break-in process. We've got Sacralax, which is a product that's been on the market for a bit, one that I'm familiar with, I've used um, quite a bit. And we have Toss Sauce, which is a product that's brand new, just hit the market a few weeks ago. Um, I was curious about it. Um, so I thought I got a bottle and I thought, well, you know what, if I'm curious, I bet a lot of you are as well. So I thought, let's do a review. Let's see how this performs. Um, real quick, um, just kind of a disclaimer here as far as bags go. When you use products on a bag or you use a process um, and the bag is damaged, the manufacturer is probably not going to warranty that bag. So just be aware um, if you have one of these bags and they develop a hole, a seam breaks, whatever happens to it, you send it back. If they can tell that you've put a product on it, they can tell that you've boiled it or whatever the process is, they're not going to stand behind that warranty. You voided that. So just be aware of it. Again, I've used this Sacrilex quite a bit and I've never had an issue with the bag. So I don't think it's going to cause a problem, but just be aware that if you do, that could happen. The best way to break in your bags is to throw them always. That's the best method. That's going to make the bags come out and play the way they were designed to play. Anytime you put a product on there, it's going to leave a little bit of a residue, change the material in some way. So just be aware of that. Throw them. Now, that being said, bags can break in anywhere within an hour of throwing to 15, 20, 25 hours of throwing them. You know, like these bags here, these three sets are ones that I've just gotten in the last few days. Brand new, never thrown. They're all pretty stiff. Um, and they're reviews I'm going to have coming up, but I kind of put them out because, um, for one, I, um, you know, when I'm reviewing a bag, I, I want to be, I want to do a fair review. And if I were to review this bag, just like it is now, this is a, a detonator by Crazy 8. Um, it's carpet bag, as you can see. And I can tell you right now, if I were to throw this as it is, brand new, this carpet's going to play a lot faster than it will broken in. And it's not fair to you. It's not fair to the bag manufacturer for me to review a bag that's not at least broken to a point to where it's gonna start playing like it should. And so, you know, I would never throw this bag out. I mean, Brandon, you can see this thing. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I hate this this process for testing if bags are broken, and I'll get that in a bit. But you can see this, this bag's pretty stiff. There's really very little flex to it. As it breaks in, it'll get better. But I know this bag is gonna take a lot more time to break, and this is not a one hour throw away and it's ready to go. This is, carpet always takes a, a while. Um, so it's going to take some time commit to put into it, or I can try a process to speed that, that break in in. Um, this BG Shapeshifter um, or KDS Converter, these are going to break in quicker than that detonator. Um, but still, these are going to take more than an hour, just my guess by feeling. I, and I can tell you, by the way they feel, they're, they're, they're not ready to throw. They're not ready to play yet. So I'm going to have to do something to those. And that's why there are products out there, because a lot of us don't have the hours available just to throw them before we can actually go play a game with them, right? So um, as far as these products go, um, what I did is I um, followed the directions just listed on the bottle here for the sack relax, the toss sauce comes with the card. I followed the directions to a T, did exactly what they said, pulled them out, and um, I have a wooden, wooden drying rack for clothes. Brand new, before I treated them, I just I took the bag, I flattened it out, I laid it on the board, and, and took a picture of it, and then at, right after I got done treating them, I then took it out, flat nugget, it, laid it on the board. I hate this process for testing how broken a bag is. Just the simple fact that you take this bag right here, this KDS converter, and I can go, you know what? I can show you, oh look, that bag's hardly ever broken, it's brand new, right? But I can also take it, and I can do this right here and go, wow, <laughs> look how broken that bag is. Same bag. Still brand new. It's just how you manipulate the bag. So I hate using this method, but there's really no quantifiable way to determine how broken a bag is. That's a way that everybody knows. So when I do something like that, you can say, oh, it's not broken. Um, when I take a bag that's got a little break into it, you know, and I take it and I go, <laughs> you know, I take it and go, oh, look, look at that. You know, that, that bag, you can tell right away that bag is more broken than that bag is, right? So, so, so I want it to be fair and I want it to not manipulate the bag. So by flattening it out and just laying it on there and getting a picture, I felt that was the fairest way of doing it. Um, real quickly on the Sacrilax, we'll start with um, simple process, wet the bags. You put a, it says a quarter size amount of the product on each side and massage it in, um, which gets me to the first problem. I don't know what a quarter size amount really is. I kind of know what a quarter size is, but I'm always guessing. And typically I end up using more than I should. And the reason I know I'm using more than I should is because it says this four ounce bottle 
will treat eight sets of bags, which is 32 bags. Um, I get four to six sets out of a bottle, not eight. I've never gotten eight. So I know I'm either, either I'm using too much or they're, they're um, overestimating how much this will do. Um, so just be aware, you know, that that's kind of the first issue. But you massage them in, throw it, let it set for 15 minutes. It says 15 to 30. I, in this review, I let it set for 15. Um, then you rinse it out really good and, and make sure when you're using any kind of product that you really do thorough job of rinsing these bags out. You want all this product out of here because you don't want to leave a residue on here. If you leave product in when it dries, you'll feel it. It'll change the way the bag plays, it'll change the way it feels, um, and, and it's it's not going to be the same. The speeds will be different, um, which is, you know, you, the reason you bought the bag you did is because of the speed that the materials have and you want to keep that as true as possible. So make sure you're rinsing these out thoroughly. Um, rinse these out. You throw it in the dryer. Um, it says tumble dry, no heat. I did throw a towel in with these because I wanted to, the towel will actually, even though it's, there's no heat, the towel will take out the moisture, help speed up the drying process. Um, so I did that. I tumble dried them for 30 minutes and pulled them out. Um, you can go longer. You probably need to go longer. I pulled them out and then let them finish air drying. The reason I did 30 minutes is because the toss sauce recommends a 30 minute drying time um, with heat. And so if I were to dry these for an hour, hour and a half, and these for 30 minutes, these are naturally going to come out more feeling more broken because that tumble dry is going to speed the process up. So I just did 30 minutes just to be fair on both products to kind of, if I'm going to pair the two, right? Um, pulled them out. I'll be honest, once they finish drying, they really do feel broken. It's definitely a compare, uh, 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 an improvement over what it was. You can see in the pictures, um, they do have more flex to them. Um, these are not fully broken yet, but they are broken enough that I feel comfortable playing with these right now. I could go out and throw these in a game and I have no issue with them because of, of where they are at the point they are. Um, as far as the break-in goes, just be careful when you're using product. If you do use too much, um, you can break these in too far. And once you go too far, you can't pull it back. So I always, I always recommend stopping a little short of where you really want them to be and then finish them off throwing them. You know, as you start playing games, they'll break a little more and get to the point where you really like them. Um, the Sacralex does say that when you, once you put the product with a set and rinse, it does say you can repeat. I have found for me one round of treatment does it. I don't have to go a second time. Um, so I find it once does what it wants. I have changed the process a little bit to my likings, but for, like, again, for this review, I stuck to it. Um, on the toss for sauce, on the toss sauce, um, the process is a little different. Uh, one thing right off the bat they give you is a little measuring cup, right? So you're going to fill this cup up dump it in the water. It doesn't say how much water. I don't know if it matters. I filled my sink up. Um, again, I'm only using two bags, so I did half of this cup instead of the full amount. The one thing I like about this is it says this thing here, the six ounce, bo since six ounce bottle will treat six sets, 24 bags. And that's because this is, this is basically one ounce, six ounces there, six of these, six sets. I think you're pretty accurate um, and getting the six sets out. Whereas with this, you're guessing, you get to the bottle and go, wow, I only got four sets. I used way too much. So one thing off the bat I do like is the way it measures it. All right, hot water, pour this in, mix this up, throw your bags in, massage your bags. You let it sit for about 45 minutes. Um, it does say to knead frequently. So about every 10 minutes I came up, re kneaded the bags, re uh, manipulate the bags, let them set back through. Um, once you hit the end of 45 minutes, drain the water out, add fresh water, let it set again. Um, it didn't say to rinse these bags out at that point, so I did not. I followed it to a T. I just drained it out, refilled it back up, let it set again. And then at the very end, once that um, extra um, 15 minutes of soaking is done, then you knead the bags again, drain the water, rinse them out real good. Again, make sure you thoroughly rinse these even more than you think you should. Get all of that material out, product out of it. Um, and then it says throw it in the dryer. Um, the difference here is they recommend high heat for 30 minutes. This is no heat. I'm a little reluctant to use high heat. I, I have used a dryer to break in my bags before. I'm a little um, scared to use high heat. If I use any heat at all, it's going to be low. But I want it to be true and be fair, so I did run in a high heat. Um, uh, ran it for 30 minutes, pulled them out, let them cool down. Again, you can see the pictures, the brand new bags, no treatment. And then after the treatment, you can see some flex. Again, these things feel great. Um, I, I could go out in the game right now. I'm comfortable with playing with these. Um, I, they're not far from where I want them to be, and it wouldn't take um, too many games of playing with these where they get exactly where I want them. So, yeah, they came out feeling well. I don't see any issues with them. There's no residue left on this bag. Um, there's no smell of any product being used. I feel like they feel like uh, the bag should feel. 
Um, same with this one. There's no residue on this either, which is why I've, I've liked Sacrolax. Um, the other thing on the Toss Sauce they give you is they give you a set of gloves as well. So if you want, if you've got sensitive skin or you want to keep that product off of your skin, they give you gloves to use. Um, I didn't use gloves either one. Maybe I should. I'm not sure what's in the products. I will say that they are different um, ingredients in here because I could tell when you're using the product, they smell different. Um, the process is different. So they are using different ingredients. You come out and you get basically the same results. When you look at these two bags and the pictures, the finished products, I couldn't tell you which one's broken more than the other. They feel um, they feel identical, which is good because I can tell you by them feeling identical means that neither one of them left any kind of residue. They feel like like the bag should be. So yeah, I highly recommend using them. Um, I will continue to use this some more because this is the first time I've done it. So I am curious to see, um, as I use in other types of material, other bags, how it performs. Um, if I have any issues, by all means, I will let you know. But right now, I don't see a problem. Um, this bottle here is going to run you 20 bucks. Um, this one ran me about 20 bucks as well. This is a four ounce, this is a six ounce bottle. Um, they should treat, well, this one says it'll do more, but honestly, you're going to get at most six sets out of both of these, uh, maybe less, again, out of that one. Um, Sacrilax is can be difficult to get. Um, you sometimes have to kind of do a little search to find someone that has it in stock. They also run not just four ounce bottles, they do two ounce and one ounce bottles as well. So be careful when you're buying these. Make sure you know what size bottle you're getting. Um, if you see a good price on it, it's probably because it's a smaller bottle. Um, they run this as well. Toss Sauce runs like it's a 3.3 ounce bottle, I believe, for like 13-ish bucks. Um, the other thing they also have that I'll probably end up getting next is they do a um, toss sauce for carpet material as well, which is a little different than the regular. So I may pick up a bottle of that since I do like the way that this turned out. I may pick up a bottle of that to give it a try. Um, and if I do, I will um, give you a little review on that as well. So, but anyway, yeah, love the toss sauce. Um, it's available on shoptosssauce.com. Shop Check that out. Sacrilax, um, they have a Facebook page, um, but you can try uh, Cornhole Addicts. Um, um, I, there's a couple other companies. If you do a Google search for Sacrilax Cornhole, it'll bring up the companies that have it uh, as well. So yeah, I, I recommend giving them a shot. Um, they both seem to do a great job, and these bags turned out beautifully. Um, I'm excited to go out and throw these and uh, bring you a review in the near future for these as well. And um, keep an eye out for the uh, review on the uh, BG Shapeshifters. Brand new bag. I'm really excited to review because this is not a typical BG bag. Um, the KDS Converter is coming up, and the Crazy 8 Detonators are all coming in the future here. So keep your eyes open for that. Thank Hey guys, I'm out here doing some videos recording the uh, BG Shapeshifter. I'm looking forward to bringing this review to you. Um, I've got some surprising things to say about it, I think. Uh, but I wanted to bring you an update. I did treat these. Um, they were brand new. I treated them with a round of the toss sauce. Just followed the directions exactly as it said. Pulled them out. Uh, they felt really good. Not quite fully broken, but pretty close. I've been out here for about an hour throwing them now, and they, they are they are in excellent shape. They feel great. They're game ready. I'm ready to, I, I would have no problem throwing a game with them, competing with these. Um, I also have been throwing my Viper Bees that I did the comparison with, the Sacrilax and the Toss Sauce. And I can tell you, they're as well, they've both broken great. Um, they, they play exactly the same. I couldn't tell you any difference between the two of them. I think they, they're performing exactly um, like each other. Um, so I highly recommend the, the Sacrilax. I've been using it for quite a while now. I've had no issues with it. And I, I would recommend the Toss Sauce. Um, it's, it's very easy to use. Um, it breaks them in nicely. It doesn't take them too far. And then after throwing them for a bit, they, they, become, uh, they become great. They feel great. Um, so yeah, check them out. Uh, if you're looking for a product that's going to speed up your break-in process, Sacrilax or Toss Sauce, both of them do an excellent job. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, appreciate the likes I'm getting. The, the, those of you who are subscribed, you are awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please give me a subscribe. I, I greatly appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up for me. Um, shoot me any comments you have, um, any, any other bags. If you've got products out there that you want to see me review, shoot me a message um, on my social media. Um, I've got um, Mike's Cornhole Bags on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook page, Mike's Cornhole Bags, as well as uh, Mike's Cornhole Bags at gmail.com. If you want to email me, if you just want to drop a comment in one of my videos, however you want to reach out to me, I will see those and I will get back to you. Um, appreciate the feedback. And again, I thank you for watching.